Hi strangers, it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Yay! Oh my gosh. Um, so a few things. One, background hasn't changed yet. Um, that is because my work is stringing me along and I have work tomorrow. And that will be the last day I work until the semester, or at least at home, until the semester is over. Um, unless they give me hours during spring break, which I really hope they don't do. <laughs> um, so, I'm still at home. Uh, and so I'm, I'm packing. I'm packing, I'm doing laundry, all the getting ready for school stuff. Stuff. <laughs> um, so, let's get right to your videos. <laughs> First. D, hope you're doing okay. Um, missed your video on Saturday. Two, uh, Laura, I will reiterate what Jennifer said. Who, who doesn't know what a puzzle mat is? <laughs> um, we have one because my mom loves doing puzzles and is like master puzzle person. Like when we were kids and we get stuck on like our hundred piece puzzles, mom would come over and like put like four strategic pieces into the puzzle that we'd done so far and magically we'd be able to finish. <laughs> um, so my, my mom was always master puzzleman at my house, um, but we do have a puzzle mat. Um, about a few years ago. Um, but yeah, those things are amazing. Yay! <laughs> do you ever um, glue your puzzle together and frame it when you're done? Or do you like to mess it all up again and put it back in the box and have fun again at another later date? <laughs> we always took ours apart and messed them all up again. But I had a friend who, uh, quite a friend, who did flat puzzles. And she would, depending on what they were, would frame them once they were done. So she had one that was of one of the Lord of the Rings movies, like one of the original three. Um, it was like the poster, it was like a movie poster in puzzle form. So when she finished that, she glued it, like she, I guess she like shellacked it or glued it so that it would stay together and then had it framed. Um, and then my uncle, my mom's youngest brother, used to do 3Ds. So like they're puzzles, but they like build up into like houses and stuff. And those are super cool. Um, and he used to obviously glue those together once he was finished with those as well. Um, so yeah, I like puzzles. Puzzles are fun. Um, <laughs> yay puzzles. Um, let's see, Jen. I think your video cut out at the end. Um, I was intrigued to know what you meant by a money diet. I think I get the concept, but um, intrigued. So please elaborate next week. Uh, and Ben, hi Ben, hi Ben's mom. <laughs> um, where is where is where is? Oh, I'm glad you're gonna read *The Fault in Our Stars* before the movie comes out because that's always good. Read the book before the movie. Um, yeah, I, I love The Fault in Our Stars. I think I've told you this. I think I've said this enough, but The Fault in Our Stars, I love that book. <laughs> um, I just think it's really, really well written. However, it is not my favorite John Green book. My favorite book of his is still Paper Towns. Um, yeah, so that's, that, there's that. I don't know. I really like Paper Towns. Um, uh, Catcher in the Rye. I love Catcher in the Rye. That's, that's one of the few books I actually enjoyed reading in high school. <laughs> uh, so there's that. Um, yes, I am doing World Book Night. Again, I've signed up to be a donor again. Um, and like you, I shall choose to keep my book choices secret until I have confirmation of which book they're giving me. And, uh, you know, yeah. Um, I did have a question for you though. I know you said you only owned Hoot, but do you, did you read? Had you read any of the other ones before? Like, had you had you read any of the list? Because there were a lot of books on the list this year. I was like, oh, I read that one, and I read that one. <laughs> um, or I've seen that at a bookstore, and I really wanted to pick it up and read it. Um, so yeah, that's interesting, intriguing. Meh. <laughs> um, but yeah, life is good. Life is, you 
know, packing and a little crazy right now, getting ready for school. But other than that, <laughs> it's life, and I'm excited to go back to school. Um, I think I told you guys this, but I can't remember. I'm changing my major. My major up until this point was going to be theater education with a minor in history. And now I'm kind of swapping it. Um, and I'm not doing education anymore because I got into a doubt about student teaching and stuff. Um, <laughs> and I've had way too many friends go through the education like degrees and just come out saying, don't ever put me in a classroom. So, um, which isn't to say I won't, like, you know, when I get older, go for, like, the, like, teacher certification programs or whatnot, but I'll have a college degree. So here's the college degree. Here's the one that I want on the piece of paper at the end. <laughs> It'll be a theater minor, um, because obviously I've taken enough classes to have that pretty much already done. Um, and then I will have a applied and public history degree. That'll be my major. And basically what it is, is it's like museum and national parks. It's like museum and park studies, um, but with like a history focus. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Yippee! Um, I'm also taking astronomy this semester um, as part of my gen ed program. Um, I'd taken astronomy one and I hadn't taken astronomy two yet. So now I'm taking astronomy two. Spring semester. So, so excited about that because... It's astronomy. Yay! <laughs> um, stars and stuff. Yay! It's so pretty up in the mountains. So I'm really excited about that class. And then I have two theater classes, and then I have a little bit of shuffling left to do on my schedule. <laughs> um, but other than that, <laughs> um, that is my life so far. So, until next week when background changes. See strangers! Mm-hmm. <laughs>